let's talk about why we're here today and what the charity is for and everything. Break it down for us if you can. I'm here um, representing and supporting uh, the charity One Simple Wish, which it um, helps and takes care of foster children nationwide. Um, it grants wishes. The, these are wishes that these foster kids have put up when it could be a, a prom dress, um, uh, luggage to travel from cost foster home to foster home. A lot of these kids have to put their clothes in a black trash bag to get from home to home. Um, it could be socks. It could be new bed sheets. Um, anything that you know these kids want to feel normal, like every other kid. You know, so it's 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 a it's a charity that that makes these children and helps these children um, feel special right. and important, and that somebody out there cares. Right. Well, we all care. Yeah. Now. What did you guys have to do to prepare? Uh, well, they, we, we took a crash course uh, backstage. They gave us some questions. We aced those, <laughs> so we were sure that we were well, going to be the ones to get the million. There wasn't grand on the line backstage. Yeah, something no. about those <laughs> lights in the audience that makes things a little more difficult. But I'm real quickly pleased to be here for Autism Speaks. Um, yes. Autism is uh, very serious. It's, it's one of those things where if you know the statistics, it's staggering. Um, yes. The trajectory of it, um, 10 years ago, the numbers were 1 in 10,000, and today it's 1 in 68. There's no um, early detection. There's no cause. There's no, pre you know, prevention. Um, there's no cure. So I'm um, pleased to help raise some money to bring awareness and um, some more information and learning to autism and possibly a cure. Now, I watched a little bit of the show. Okay. On cool. Zoom. What's the strategy for you two? Do you guys have a strategy? <laughs> uh, no, we didn't. We didn't have a strategy. Um, you really can't. You have no idea what you're up against. You, you have no idea what kind of question. You know. You have no idea. Um, how the question is going to be asked, and it's, no. and you don't know the pressure you're going to be under until the lights are on you and the music's playing and uh, everyone's yeah. waiting for you to come up with an answer. And <laughs> it, it's counterintuitive the way the questions are asked because there's a lot of negatives, and so it's like um, just figuring out the question my, takes yeah. a few minutes before yeah. you say, okay, now what's the answer? My dad used to say questions like that. We'd be in trouble, and he'd say, "What part of that do you not understand?" Right. And you're like trying to figure out the what, question. What does that like, mean? Wait, wait. So they did that here. I felt like I was in trouble with my dad again, and. Maybe that's why I was sweating. <laughs>